can you focus on me? Previously on the Petite Series. Next week, I am going to do a fashion video, but there's there's something extra with it. And I'm going to do something with y'all. So stay tuned for that video. Could it be you calling me down? Foolish heart turns out the stars. All that I have is all that you see. You don't need nobody else, and you're putting this all on me. Forget. What's up, petite fam? Welcome back to the channel. Yes, your girl is back with another video. Penubis now. Hey, conta you. You better catch the vibe and join the petite fam. And you're gonna have to subscribe, or you can just wait and watch the video. I'm pretty sure you're gonna subscribe. So, you guys, in today's video, I'm doing a fashion video as I told you guys in the previous episode. Um, this video was inspired by a trend that I've been seeing on Instagram that people are recreating Pinterest outfits and or just I see it on Instagram outfits that they recreate so I decided why instead of just pick random like celebrity outfits why not pick your outfit so the viewers my subscribers my followers so I actually picked out a few people that I like their outfits and I also obviously checked in my closet to see oh do I have these pieces yes I can recreate them so why not so watch till the end maybe you can see your outfit and let me know which outfit you think I like recreated the best and all that good stuff so yes let's get into the video So I have the first outfit put up. So the first inspiration was this photo. This photo is from Zoe. Shout out to you girl. She's also part of the Petite Fam. So I'm going to tell y'all which items I used to recreate her outfit. So first off we have this top. Um, she had like a backless top or at least it looks like a backless top. Um, I bought this top from Pretty Little Thing. I love an open back or whatever. And it's cropped as you can see on this video right here. And I paired it with this jeans. Um, this jeans is from Bershka. I bought it a long freaking time ago. And it's so freaking comfortable and it sits so nice on my waist. And it's pretty wide. I love white jeans. Like I have normal jeans but these are more comfortable. I call them my eating pants because it's comfortable you know. Um, so these are the jeans that I paired it with. And for the accessories, I used these earrings by Goldie. Um, I couldn't see actually which earrings she was wearing in the photo, but I thought I could pair it with a bag, also a yellow bag, which also she didn't have in the photo, so I just added stuff to it. Um, and I think the golden touch hair with this yellow bag would be the perfect fit. Um, this bag I bought uh, at Mango, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, I think it was... Yep, mango. Obviously, because she was standing from like the back side, I couldn't see if she was wearing a necklace, but I paired it with the necklace from Lovelies by Lulu, the affirmation collection. And lastly, on my feet, I saw that she was wearing like this. I don't know what the name is, I'll pop up the name, but like cork. Is it like cork type of shoes? Um, I The only ones that I have are these with the back because she was standing like you know from the back side you know showing that bunga or whatever <laughs> so let me know how you think i did with recreating her outfit this is the photo of zoe and this is my um version of the outfit let me know how you like it and also zoe shout out to you again So we're gonna go for the third outfit which was inspired by Eugene, which is this picture right here. Shout out to you, Miss Afro, my Caribbean or oh, whatever, makeup artist or oh, whatever, and all of that good stuff looking like a melanin glow type of girl. Y'all, so this girl, her energy is everything, and I love how she styled the Kokolishi um scarf. And I'm going to show y'all how I did it. She used like the scarves to make an off the shoulder top, which I freaking love and stand. So when I found out you, that you can do that with the scarf, I was like, I have to do this. So off 
obviously you need to use a kokolichi scarf like you cannot do a kokolichi outfit without a kokolichi scarf so i use i think she used i don't remember which scarf she was wearing but i used the coco one from the new collection of kokolichi right here and obviously i wear it exactly like she did and then i paired it with these shorts actually these shorts i just bought them like just on a random day just to have like a few shorts i guess and they turned out to be my favorite white shorts so this one was from primark i think i got it as a bargain like five euros or something like primark is the best place to get like very basic pieces and it's pretty much comfortable and she was also wearing a white um short and to pair them i wore these green earrings i think these were from stradivarius they're pretty like a olive type of color and i freaking love it because it matches like the leaves of the kokolichi scarf and then i was wearing the um necklace from concept statement just the curacao um shape <laughs> let me know how you think that i recreated the outfit um oh on my feet i was wearing just slippers like black slippers um let me know how you think that i recreated the outfit this is her uh, version of it and this is my version so let me know in the comments and shout out to you miss thang i gotta testify come up in the spot looking extra fly for the day i die i'm a touch the sky gotta testify come up in the spot looking extra fly yeah, yeah. for the day i die so the next person for outfits is Kerenza Kirsi, which is this photo right here. This girl, oh my god, I love her style and she's an upcoming stylist or whatever and I love her outfits. I freaking love them and I was looking for like a casual, you know, very chill outfit but sporty in this like outfit recreation thing. So let me show you guys what I used to recreate the outfit. So first off, this shirt, this is an oversized t-shirt. I bought it at Zara in Aruba and it was actually from the men's collection. So I usually shop in the men's collection especially for like oversized t-shirt because for us girls usually it's very snug and I don't like that. I like a big oversized shirt. Then I paired it with the biker shorts and these were from Stradivarius I think. Yes, these are from Stradivarius but you can catch them anywhere. I mean like biker shorts in your mom's closet. I mean lingerie part of like Primark. I don't know like you can get it everywhere. Um, these were the biker shorts that I used and I paired them. I think she was also wearing Jordans. I paired them with my new Mocha Jordans. I freaking love these Jordans. They're freaking dope so neutral like they go with everything and anything that you can wear and very comfortable and for the accessories part i used the hoop earrings i think i don't think she was wearing hoop earrings but i like it on me hoop earrings with like a sporty outfit and i used this bag which was from also stradifarius and this bag i think she was also wearing this color bag a brown one which is very funny so i think i actually did a pretty good job by recreating her outfit but you guys can tell me like how you think i recreated the outfit this was her outfit and this was my recreation so let me know in the comments below and kirsty shout out to you also if you haven't watched our video yet go watch the um petite searches for the best batido and hit 1k thank you so so much for that and yeah let's continue all right y'all so we're almost at the end of the video so we're gonna go into the next outfit which was inspired by miss dianita this gorgeous girl right here and that's her outfit so i was inspired by this outfit and i really liked it because it's so simple yet so cute and she's freaking gorgeous and she's rocking every outfit that she wears so let's get into how i recreated the outfit Okay, so to start off, she had like this bandeau top. Mine is a bit more shorter. It's because it was a bikini. So, um, I usually wear my bikinis as tops because I can. And I mean, why not? I mean, just use it, you know? So, this is the white bandeau top that I wore it with. And I paired it with um, this scarf from Dayfoot Studios. I think she was wearing like this purple and blue and white type of scarf. And I think these are the same colors as 
this scarf from Dave Studios and I wore these shorts these were from Bershka these shorts I have them for like decades I think since when I moved to Holland these are my favorite shorts and they still okay they don't fit exactly the same but they're still freaking comfortable I don't know if she was wearing shorts or just a long jeans but I thought okay let me just throw in a short it looks good with both of them and she paired it with glasses which I have right here I love these glasses these glasses were from mango and I wore the necklace from concept stage one with it and black slippers so let me know how you guys think that I did with her outfit by recreating it so this is her outfit and this is mine could it be you calling me down 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 my foolish heart turns out the star everybody has been seeing this like look aunque i mean our muslim sisters and brothers have been wearing these both to kiss kaba so but it's still an iconic look that you find on instagram but this outfit i was inspired by miss dianti miss didi right here she has her own um styling brand and you can check her out it's called i think styled by dms on instagram so go look that up i'm going to show you guys how i recreated her outfit So to start with, I used my light blue dress because I don't have like this navy blue dress that she was wearing but I used my pretty little thing light blue dress which I think matches perfectly with the scarf of Kokolishi which is the floating one which she was wearing on her head but it was not a Kokolishi scarf. I don't remember which scarf it was but I used the Kokolishi one because I think it pairs pretty nice with it and on her face she was wearing these glasses almost the same shape as mine from Mango and I paired it with my sneakers, my white um, Nike Air Forces. So I wore those and she was wearing like high platform shoes they were white so i just used like a white shoe to combine it and so it could look kind of like the same so let me know how you guys think that i did recreating that outfit oh but she was wearing also a white um like a big oversized white t-shirt but it's not got so so this color so you know and i didn't bring any long type of thing i can so sad that was it. <laughs> but yeah so this is how i recreated it so let me know how i did so this is her outfit and this is mine so let me know in the comments down below which is like a girls night out type of outfit that I would wear and it was inspired by Miss Tasha herself shout out to her shout out to the queen of makeup I love her I miss you girl but anyway this is not what the video is about so I'm going to show you guys how I recreated this outfit I loved it she posted like a video actually I think yesterday um, on her Instagram like with orange outfits and she was saying like orange was not her type of color and girl it's not mine either until I found this freaking dress I don't really wear dresses that much but the reason why I love buying dresses like these is because I would wear them as tops so you would wear a jeans or something underneath or you can just wear it as a dress so you can do a lot of things with just one dress you know and that's exactly what she did but she did it with a bodysuit um, so I used this orange uh, and I paired it with this jeans from I think this one is from Stradivarius and it has like cutouts here she had like the split hem type of jeans I still have to get those but this is one of my favorite freaking jeans because it's so comfortable and it's like wide just like the other one but this one has a rip in it then I paired it with this bag. This is the bag that I used for Kirsi's outfit, but I like wrapped it in Kokolishi's scarf, which I freaking love. My home randomly this DMA. What do I want to put with my outfit of um Kimikoi? Passen. And with you know, 
let me just try and like wrap it up and it looked very cute and I almost wear it every single day like this I don't I don't even wear the bag anymore like on its own color but as I said, this was like the inspiration I think she had like a beige type of bag but I think this is just perfection like perfection and I was wearing um the, these earrings that I'm wearing right now I think and the Cadena the Lovelies by Lulu Fuerte. Obviously, I paired it with also clear heels, which she was also wearing, I think, in the video, if I'm not mistaken. So, yes, that was um, my creation or recreated outfit from her. So, let me know what y'all think. Did I do a good job? This was her outfit, and this is mine. So, let me know in the comments. Shout out to you, Miss Tasha. I love you. Mad love for you. What did you say? All right, so we're gonna save the best for last. The next outfit was inspired by the owner itself and founder of Blackbird, Miss Renessa. This is the picture. I screenshotted it from your story because I'm gonna post it. It's feed, and I loved it. So I walk in, love coming to use a screenshot. Eh? So, but see, so I'm going to show you guys how I recreated this outfit. Technically speaking, I use literally the same things you would say from her own brand, and I love this fit because the entire look is literally YDK. So let's get into it. is my favorite though because I mean I am wearing my own Chris suit that was inspired by me oh my god I still cannot believe that thank you so much for that girl I have my own bathing suit at Blackbird so I love this it snatches your waist all up in the room and then I paired it with this bucket head which is also from his black girl blackbird <laughs> black girl she is a black girl though <laughs> don't get it twisted see um from blackbird also so these two are both from blackbird i think you can order them still on her website and obviously so by the way beach i mean you don't really need much you just need like which is from the state for studios which i freaking freaking love and i paired it up paired it obviously with um black slippers because you're just going to the beach so what more do you need so yeah so let me know how you think i did on this outfit i think i did a 20 a solid 20 out of 10 but you can comment and let me know i mean i was rocking my own suit and i was rocking the old blackburn blackbird um collection so anyways but this was her outfit and this was mine so let me know in the comments and we're gonna continue okay y'all so we're at the end of the freaking video i hope you guys enjoyed the video let me know which outfit was your favorite that i recreated also let me know if you guys like these type of videos because i'm going back to holland so i was thinking why not bring these series back that i recreate your outfits but then based on different um seasons so like fall winter also summer and stuff like that so let me know in the comments she's talk to me let your girl know don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next video which i think is going to be a vlog but we gonna see about that but yes see you guys in the next video bye so first off we have this top this top i think i bought it from yes pretty little thing 